my first question to you is how much were you involved in the suit that you wear because that's the one thing that strikes you or any superhero is what he wears can you talk to me a little bit about that thought process like first of all in this movie um, superhero element is just uh, an add on like our strong point is uh, what i believe uh, our strong point is uh, humor and emotional connect and the superhero suit yeah i i'm a huge superhero fan from my childhood i wanted to be a superhero because i i wanted to be loved by everyone superhero is someone who is loved by everyone so i wanted to fly i wanted to do a lot of things i wanted superpowers and all and growing up i realized it's not going to happen like uh, that's uh, that just happens in uh, stories and movies but later i became an actor then i started getting this unconditional love which i thought i'll get if i become a superhero and now i i got this chance to be a superhero at least on on the screen so first time when i tried on the uh, it was in mumbai i came to mumbai for the uh, costume trial the superhero costume trial and i felt proud i had a lot of emotions and that day in that hotel room where i was uh, doing the trials i had a huge window and it was in one of the top most floor i went and stood there uh, near that window and looked out and i really felt like a superhero and basically took the picture me standing there and uh, yeah i i had uh, i was very excited i felt um, the excitement until i started shooting in that costume shooting in that costume was not fun like um if i uh, if i need to go to the toilet or something i have to remove the whole thing it's not uh, uh, two different pieces it's one single piece and to remove my clothes i needed uh, uh, someone's help so it's not as fun as you see right I was, exactly I, uh, i wanted uh, it to look uh, to look good to uh, i i work my uh, <laughs> as out so that I, it looks good on screen and basil wanted me uh, to look like a common man who got superpowers he didn't want me to look like a bodybuilder or born superhero so he wanted me to transform my body from a chubby uh, physique to lean and fit towards the end so only in the climax sequence i am wearing that superhero costume until then i am wearing dhoti so i have three different superhero costumes in this movie and yeah that's it yeah that that's exciting and you actually mentioned two very interesting things one is the fact that i mean he is not technically the traditional superhero he is not coming from a galaxy and all of that and the fact that any common person can relate identify with him because you you look like a common man in the film and your transition from that that person wearing a dhoti who is just a regular boy to becoming this character is interesting right i want to ask you a little bit about the fact that uh our country or our cinema has not really dabbled much in the superhero genre okay mm-hmm. we've had krish which is a bollywood stereotypical superhero then we've had something that uh, bhavesh joshi uh, that harshvard that tried to do which again was a very different space and then comes uh your mark ko dard nahi hota mark ko dard nahi hota again is very interesting interesting yeah. do you ever see uh, marvel is created its own galaxy of the typical superheroes but you guys because you are another form of superheroes you ever see like a cross pollination or crossover between these characters so uh, th- we have immense possibilities and i was very glad to uh, uh, watch the movie with bavish joshi and surya from mark bad ko dard nahi hota hai like they came for the premiere and yeah we saw that picture yeah so maybe um, uh, years later or maybe yeah in the future we have that possibility but I- i'm very curious how we are going to deal with the uh, language uh, like india might be the only country where people from different states speak this much different languages and india might be the only country having so much film industries so uh, yeah, if we can crack that thing the ra- language barrier thing i think we have immense possibilities no other country has uh, got this much cultural diversities and this much uh, diverse industries and in all the industries we are blessed with amazing actors and amazing filmmakers and amazing technicians so i think 
uh, we have to crack that and start making pan indian movies which can make other industries outside india jealous absolutely and i quickly also want to ask you about the fact that uh, with somebody like a netflix right uh, has crossed language barriers and has put every possible language in the country on a global platform uh, and you represent malayalam cinema in a very big way uh, have you seen the interest in this specific uh, section of filmmaking rise like there's do you see there's an increase or you think that suddenly the spotlight is on malayalam cinema people who have not watched films don't speak the language are now watching it on something like a netflix yeah uh, that's the best thing about uh, ott platforms in netflix if we look at netflix itself we, we can see squid game it's not english it's from korea mm-hmm. and money is it's not english it's from uh, spain mm-hmm. and i watched both the series in english and i loved them like basically cinema is uh, like we don't have we, it depends on visuals not the verbal communication that we are having filmmaking is not just dialogues it's the visual uh, language that we are using and <clears throat> uh, in past in, in recent times i think malayalam industry has, has also got recognition but I, let me tell you uh, most of us um, most of you i have watched most of the malayalam movies most of you have not watched the greatest malayalam movies because we never had a platform or uh, yeah we never had a platform to showcase our movies uh, malayalam movies were watched only by kerlites and kerlites uh, watch all language movies malayalam tamil telugu kannada hindi english spanish japanese whatever be the language malayalis malayalis are basically i think we have this culture of <clears throat> watching all language movies so we had to compete with all the uh, industries yeah. just to uh, showcase our movie in front of malayalis so we had to be uh, uh, careful we had to work uh, harder with uh, uh, with lot of constraints we had to uh, try and make good movies and i think we are trained that way now and now when the uh, ott platforms started uh, buying malayalam movies it became accessible malayalam movies became accessible to everyone all over the world earlier even if you wanted to watch a malayalam movie you didn't have an option uh it was not released in all the major, major theaters near you and it was not available on ott platforms when it came on ott platforms now you can it's accessible for you you can watch it and you can suggest it to your friends they also can watch it even if they are in a different country they can watch it so i think malayalam cinema is getting the deserved recognition now correct and i'm guessing you also must be asked this question a lot especially from uh, you know this section of the media is that bollywood films and you know now there's attention so much on you of people who have not watched your work and now suddenly going to start seeing you following you uh, the option of working in the hindi film industry is always open and offers come and now actors are becoming pan india actors it's not just for a certain language right what is your take on that how do you plan to uh, look into that space see i love bollywood movies and bollywood is blessed with a lot of amazing actors and technicians and filmmakers so uh, i i don't think i have to do a bollywood movie just for the sake of doing it i'll do a bollywood movie if the movie uh, if the character demands me or else it won't it will look odd if i uh, come and do a character here if and uh, if, if it's not suiting me and yeah i think i'll keep doing malayalam movies and maybe malayalam industry will grow and along with that i will also grow maybe i can attract everyone to malayalam industry like i watch korean movies and spanish movies what i had this thought i had from the beginning of my career like if i can enjoy korean movies why can't koreans enjoy malayalam movies because i don't know korean language they don't know malayalam language and i can watch a korean or spanish movie and if i can like i like it they also can like my movie so i don't want to go and act in all the industries i would like to explore i w- i would like to explore the work work culture in every industry and uh, i would like to learn a lot from all the actors and technicians from uh, all the industries ex- across the globe but i think i can perform um, the best in malayalam and malayalam movies are not bad either so um when malayalam movies are in the spotlight i should i think i should keep on doing malayalam movies and i should be able to take malayalam movies all over the world 
I absolutely love this philosophy. I think I'm I'm so happy that you think. I mean, you have this thought process going on right now. It's it's really exciting to know that. Uh, we are also wrapping up the year. We are almost at the end of the year. I quickly want to check with you and talk to you about what has been your favorite stuff that you watched this year in the OTT space or otherwise across languages. Anything that you've really enjoyed watching? A lot of them. Um, Squid Game. I loved it, and the final episode of Money Heist. I loved it, and those series are very inspiring. Uh, how how to use Netflix to uh, become international? That's what I um, I that's what that's the inspiration I got from these series. And I watched many other series. I I had a lot of free time this year. Um, in Kerala, we had uh, a second lockdown, and. I, I I was at home for a very long time, so the only thing I used to do was watch movies. And uh, also, I could I'm I'm very happy that I could do few movies uh, which got national level recognition. Like um, uh, Minal Murli is going to release now. My previous release was Kane Kane, which is in Sony, yes. and th- that also got um, great reviews. And Kala released in the yes. uh, in June, I think, in in uh, Amazon Prime, and it also uh, got very good reviews for the movie, for the content we spoke about, and for our performances. So, and the uh, director's craft, everything was being discussed. Early, it used to be discussed only in Kerala. Now it's being discussed all over India, uh, and uh, this year has been a very good year for me uh, in terms of. Movies in terms of exciting project with projects which I am doing right now, um, and I have I'm, I have a very hopeful 2022 also. I'm uh, very I'm looking forward uh, to 2022 very hopefully because I have some amazing movies which I believe are amazing. Uh, um, they are ready. They are coming out after Minal Murli. It might be Naradan, directed by Ashi Uh It might come out in Jan. The uh, details we'll share it soon. So uh, I'm um, very happy that I could watch a lot of amazing movies this year. I would I could be part of uh, many amazing movies this year, and next year will be even better. I think. Fantastic. So my last question before we wrap up is for fans, uh, your fans and fans who are expectedly awaiting to see the film uh, Minal Murli. What do you have to say to them? Minal Murli is a movie in which. Me, Basil, Samirka, uh, and the whole team—the producers, all the technicians, all the actors—we have done our one hundred percentage. We have put in our one hundred percentage effort. Coming from a um, from an industry where we cannot demand for a huge budget like what Marvel or DC gets, we tried and made a movie uh, which is going to compete with those movies only because for, for uh, from audience perspective. They have to spend same amount of money to watch a Malayalam superhero movie and a uh, Marvel or DC superhero movie. So there will be comparisons. They'll think, why should I spend this much for a Malayalam movie? If I if I can spend this much and watch a movie of thousand or two uh, thousand crores budget, then why should I watch this Malayalam movie? So the uh, um, I have to say this, like I. As a uh, as a uh, audience, I always wanted movies to connect. Emotional connect should be there, and emotional dramas are Malayalam movies' um, uh, strong points. So me and Basil, we are also very uh, emotional people, and we also believe that apart from the superhero elements, there should be something else in the movie. Not only superhero elements. We uh, we have humor. We have emotional scenes. We have nice defined characters. So I I think this is a full package, and we have done our best with whatever we we got, and I think it has come out good. And from the trailers and all, uh, you might have seen what it is, what the the premise, the scale, everything. So it's not just another superhero movie. This is a uh, very grounded Desi superhero movie, which will make you laugh, which will make you probably uh, uh, cry, or which will. Give you goosebumps at some moments, so that's what I expect. And uh, I watched this movie f- first time with my parents and my wife and my kids. It was Basil's wedding anniversary, and I went there to wish him. And he had 
the uh, movie the uh, uh, that was not the final out but mm-hmm. we all sat and watched it together in his home theater and my uh, parents they loved it my wife loved it usually my wife whenever she watches a movie of mine she is the uh, uh, like um, she is the uh, uh, like a cold hearted critic in my house like if i do something wrong she'll say it on my face because she doesn't have to impress me anymore uh so uh, she and i can um, uh, take whatever she says because she says that for me to improve so usually whenever i does something wrong she points it out but in minal murli she told me i don't have anything to say uh, like i don't have anything critical uh, to say you have done an amazing job the movie is too good i loved it that's what my wife said my dad he broke into tears uh, after watching the movie um he had mixed emotions and my daughter uh, i could uh, me and basil watched the movie from her face not from the screen so we were watching we were looking at her face and i could uh, see the uh, uh, like excitement in her eyes and every uh, humor scenes every emotional scenes every fight sequences she enjoyed it she's just 6 years old and as uh, superhero movies i think um, uh, is for kids and kids inside us and she enjoyed it so i think people from every uh, part of the world people uh, from different genders or different age groups can enjoy this movie it's a small movie uh, compared to all other huge superhero movies but i think it's it's worth it Absolutely, I think if the wife loves the film, that's a good sign. And yeah. on that, on that note, wish you all the very best for not just Minal Murli, but for everything else in 2022. This was an amazing chat, and hope to speak to you soon, Romino. All the very best. Thank you so much, Tusha. Take care. Bye.